Welcome back guys. Today's the day. We got our eggs. We're going to put them in the incubator. The room is preheated. I got a heater in here. That's kind of a little tr uh, trick. You want to keep your room about 72, you want to hire 75 to 80. And you don't want your whole house that way because you'll be standing outside. So what I did was I have like a little heater in here. We can show you real quick. And we're done it. So you got a good little heater going. And we got our eggs. An, a very nice subscriber, nice lady. She gave me 28, I believe. So we got 28 eggs. Let's get some light going on here. And there's the eggs right there. Now I got another pro tip, another good tip. I'm gonna find your egg. It's kind of hard, but there's a point. You wanna put your point. I put all the points facing down in these cartons. Because in here, they're gonna sit on these trays all facing down. Now I got the incubator, it's already up to 95, 99 degrees, with about 50, 56% humidity, 55%, right around there is a good humidity for it. And now we're gonna load it up. I now wanna get this done because it's like a thousand degrees in here for me. This incubator here has two slots. We got our water in the first slot. Second slot is until three days of ha uh, when they break out of the shell and we fill it up, open this slot and it gets good, good bit of humidity in there. Now if I can get this off of here without, there we are. So you got these little trays, our little egg trays. They fit down in here and there's a little motor and it tilts these back and forth. So let's get it loaded up. We might have to do a little rearranging. Some eggs are different sizes than other eggs. Not bad, six eggs right there. Now day 10, day 10 is when we'll start candling. It has a, a candle light at the top where we can candle them. So for a better hatch rate, you put them pointing down. This it also helps you candle too, because of the candle's curve. Let's see if we can find a little bit smaller one. Make sure he don't fall over. Now I got big plans for hatching different things. Emus, peacocks, uh, some Brazilian roosters. So uh, you guys bear with me. When we get this incubator fine tuned, we will be doing stuff like that. Okay. Now since it's been warming up, the day the day timer has been counting down. Let's see if we can get you up over here where you can see. There's our timer. Day 21 it takes 21 days. We want to hold this down a little bit. All right, so we're on 21 days now. See our our temperature went back down a little bit, but we'll be all right. I'll come right back up. You also want to adjust your vent. You want to be about halfway. And then once it's the, on the third, uh, three days to go, we're going to open it all the way up and fill up the other water one. So it gets nice and humid in there. On day 10, I'll bring you guys back and we'll candle it. We'll candle every egg and we'll see how they're doing. Uh, if there's ones that are not progressed any, we'll get rid of them because after 10 days, it's not good for them to be in there. So yeah, that's it. So it's going to do its countdown and it's going to get back up to 99 and we're at 48% humidity. That's about it. That's all you're going to do. So it wasn't too bad. It took about a couple minutes. We got them all in there. It's running. I already pre-warmed the room. It's going. And I uh, turned the incubator on before we put them in there. So just the waiting game now. But, uh, like I said, in 10 days, we'll check it. We'll see how she's doing. We'll have to candle every egg and... Uh, the ones that have veins in it and it's you know showing signs of life we'll keep and the other ones that don't show nothing they're gonna have to go so appreciate you guys and we'll check back in 10 days okay guys it's been 10 days let's uh let's get the lights down and we'll candle our eggs and see how many we got all right guys there it is that one's good so we got one all right number two the brown ones are hard to see yep yep we got some in there. So that's two. There we go. Number three. Oh, there you go. Some more. So we got number four. And the last one on this one. There you go. We got number five. We got five going. So one row is good. Let's try the second row here. There's another one's good. It's 
kind of nerve-wracking parts hard to get these move them real easy like I don't want to drop anybody I don't know if you can see real good but you can see it coming along and one more for this rack what we got here all right you can see it's real dark and then you see down the bottom is light so that means we're doing pretty good hopefully but so far we got this rack is good and then second rack is good now we're gonna go up to our third rack put you guys back over here so you can see all right third rack what do we got uh-oh guess the light's on a timer <laughs> Well, that one, okay, there we go, good on that. And last one in the third row. It's a pretty small egg. See, I, don't, I can't quite tell on this guy. It's a fairly dark spot on there. Let's see, we'll turn him upside down a little bit. I see it moving a little bit, I see some banes, so maybe. So far, three rows are good. We got our one, two, three rows. That's just our watering can. So we're going to start up on our fourth row. This is a big egg here. That one looks pretty good too. I see veins and stuff in that. Alright, here's another. A little bit smaller egg. Yep, got some more veins in there. Here's a greenish egg. Ooh, that one's... That one's got a lot of veins in there. That's almost full. And there's another greenish one. Dang, the green ones might hatch first. Hopefully, hopefully they're around the same time. All right, back to some browns. Got two more brown eggs. That one looks pretty good. I see a little spot over there. Here's the other brown one. It's doing good too. All right, let's get it back in there. All right, guys, the last row. Got a light, light brown, a few blues, and another brown. That one. All right, it's got a bunch of veins in it too, so we're doing good so far. So far, so far. All right, let's get over to our light blue. Uh-oh, what we got here? Oh yeah, there's all kinds of veins. Let's, I don't know if we can get you a view down on the side. I don't know if you can see all, them, all the veins down in there. There's definitely chicken coming along in that. Oh, we got a little bit bigger blue one. Oh yeah we got a bunch more veins down towards the bottom and we got three more to go oh yeah some more veins down that one and yep that one too the one left to go yep all right that is good all of them have been incubated or not incubated sorry all of them have been fertilized. See, we're at day 11, and it's out of 21 days. So, I'll count down to day when we hit day 7. It means there'll be three days left, and then it'll be time to take them out of these little trays take the trays out and just set all the eggs in the bottom because they'll start hatching and we'll also have to fill this up and open up our vent all the way to get the humidity and this is their air for them to breathe so guys hopefully it was light enough for you to see it's hard with a gopro and you need the lights out to candle it but so far 28 eggs seem to be fertilized and coming along nicely so we may have 28 chickens uh, I'm sure we'll lose a few of the baby ones. It's just, it's part of it. So, tomorrow we're going to do a video. We're, you, you probably won't, you will see this video after that one. We're going to build uh, a brooder box. All right, guys, next time I see you will be the day they start hatching. All right, guys, time to transfer some baby chickens into here. Touch speak to the water. We 
did I have? Make sure you touch their beak to the water so they know it's water. Yeah, touch the beak. I'm scared to. Like, It'll be okay. They've been stepping on top of each other. Don't dip it. Okay, there you go. So you drank a little bit, and then he'll teach the others. Now you just want to take him over to here, where it's nice and warm up under there. Thank you. 